All right, we're going to take a look at some examples of some guided bend tests that were done by students in the 2018-2019 school year. First of all, uh, in terms of acceptance criteria, we're going to go with kind of a general acceptance criteria. There's a specific criteria for uh, different tests, different purposes, but in general, uh, any defect larger than one eighth inch would be cause for rejection. Um, cracks coming from the edges of the assembly are generally ignored unless there's visible slag inclusions uh, inside those cracks. Uh, any crack from the edge larger than one quarter of an inch would be subject to automatic rejection. And the total look length of all defects should not exceed one quarter inch. <clears throat> This first sample was done uh, by a student named Alec. <clears throat> Alec uh, put out an outstanding plate. Both the face and the root are uh, very clean. Uh, there's some minor, minor uh, stuff near the very edge, but again, uh, nothing that would cause rejection. The next example done by <clears throat> Andrew is generally clean. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, marking on the surface and that is basically from the prep. Had the plate been ground a little bit cleaner, uh, that would not have been visible and you'll find that that root pass that we're looking at is acceptable. The next example shows a defect on the edge. Uh, the defect on the edge is uh, clean, it's open, there is no real sign of slag inclusions uh, in there. However, if we look at the next plate, we see that we have a, a defect on the other edge uh, as well. We have a couple of small, small defects on the surface that can be seen And if we take another look at the root of this same plate, we would find that there is a defect that is longer than an eighth of an inch, uh, measures almost a quarter of an inch in length. Uh, on the far side near the tape measure, there is also another small defect near the three inch mark and a few small ones. So again, both the root and the face would have to pass in order for the plate to pass. <clears throat> In this case, we have a minor defect. Uh, there's actually a couple of separate defects. None of them are larger than an eighth of an inch, and the total length does not exceed one quarter, so this would pass. In this example by Carissa, we have a defect that measures approximately three sixteenths of an inch. This would cause the plate to be rejected. If we look at the two, we can find that the root was good the defect was in the face, so it could have been an area where the dress pass was not quite far enough into the, uh, the corner to blend it and the weld may have uh, kind of rolled up against it without really digging or penetrating. The next example by Dwight shows a very clean face and a root failure. Again, number of defects Total length of quarter inch has been exceeded. <clears throat> Sample by Dylan is kind of unique. Uh, the root actually has uh, a couple of small defects near the edge. Um, those defects, along with the defects on the face, were not actually tears. Uh, they were actually undercut that was on the face of the weld that has now been stretched open. So they're not actually cracks as a clean bottom. This is undercut. This is what this looks like. However, uh, these would cause uh, rejection of the plate, even though they're not a crack per se. The next plate by Gabe shows a face that has one minor, minor defect and a root that has a few small defects. Again, the length is uh, exceeds one quarter inch. Plate by Jake shows a bad root. 
we can see where the uh, weld probably went right down the center and did not actually bond into the two plates. He may have not weaved enough, perhaps didn't run enough amperage <clears throat> to melt those corners in. The next plate shows the face, which was clean. There's a very, very small defect uh, right above the letter E on his name. But uh, again, that would not be cause for rejection. Finally, we have a clean plate from Mr. Liam. Both the face and the root came out nice. And the last plate by Maddie Thompson was completely clean. Um, although some other students passed this assembly, uh, Maddie's original plate was also exceptionally clean. Um, I don't have pictures here of the uh, plates in the as welded condition as we're only looking at the bends. Uh, but to give you an idea as to what is acceptable and un unacceptable, um, there can be defects. Uh, they must be small. And uh, again, if they are uh, numerous, even if they're small and the total accumulated length exceeds a quarter inch, then they are subject to rejection. Both the root bend and the face bend have to pass in order to have the plate pass.